Today we're going to be talking about how to prepare for PT, the extended rectangular formation, how to properly motivate your cadets, and your own personal fitness. When getting ready for PT, we got to make sure that we have three things. Number one, we need to make sure we have a game plan. We make sure that we know what we're doing for PT, and we've been talking with our first sergeants about how PT is going to be run. Number two, we've got to make sure that we have water, and all of our cadets have water. We're going to be having camelbacks at encampment, so let's make sure that those camelbacks are full all the time. Third thing, we need to make sure that we have a jacket and all our cadets have a jacket. It's going to be cold out there, it's slow as it always is in the morning, so we need to make sure that we have the jacket ready to go. What I'm wearing right now is the PT uniform. It's a black shirt, a jacket that's dark with not a lot of logos, blue or navy blue shorts, white socks, and running shoes. This is the uniform. Nothing else is accepted. Next, we're going to be talking about the extended rectangular formation. The extended rectangular formation, or ERF for short, is a formation used to prepare everyone for PT. We need to make sure that we do this uh, formation as fast as possible. Too many years in a row now, we've been getting out there, and we've been reteaching it every time we go out there, being extremely slow. We need to make sure that we know this from this video and we know exactly how to form up this formation every time we get out there. And we need to teach them how to do it properly in the very beginning using the six-step teaching method. So after the first day when we go out there, we can do it flawlessly every other time. I'm going to show you a video now of how to properly form this formation. Sense left. Hoosh. Ah! Next, we're going to be talking about motivation. PT is not a punishment. It's a motivational tool that we use to get the students ready in the morning for the rest of the day. If you do it correctly, you should have no problems with motivation the rest of the day because they've gotten that right, that great start, gotten excited. So when you're doing drill later, they're still playing the game and they're still pumped. So there's different ways that you can get them excited. And in fact, one of the questions that I'm going to have you guys do after this video is go back and talk with your other flight sergeants, your first sergeants, about different ways to get them excited. Some of the things that I suggest is uh, you know, getting out there, sounding off, yelling, doing jodies, and getting them pumped. And another thing is what I don't want to see is I don't want to see punishments for doing things incorrectly. If they don't get fast enough, up fast enough from doing push-ups, don't make them go back down again. Find that cadet who did it correctly and say, hey, Cadet Jones did fantastic. We should all be like Cadet Jones. Then they're going to go and look at Cadet Jones and go, all right, I need to go like that. I need to be fast like that. So make it a game that they need to be the best rather than a punishment for doing it wrong. Finally, we're going to be talking about your own personal fitness. You must be physically fit to be a cadre member at encampment. You're going to be in front of your students all the time, running around during PT, during drilling, during everything. You're going to be in charge of them, and you're going to be leading them from the front. During PT, you're going to be doing the push-ups with them. You're going to be running along with them and everything. You need to make sure that you can do everything that we ask of the students. So you need to make sure that your PT is stellar before we get there. We set the tone at CSX and we had you do a CPFT type test to make sure that you are ready. The first sergeants will be going over with you all of your PT scores to make sure that you passed everything. If you did not, we'll be working on making sure that we, you can be able to pass those tests so you'll be prepared for encampment. In conclusion, we've talked about getting ready for PT, the extended rectangular formation, motivation, and your own personal fitness. Please answer the questions that your first sergeant has assigned to you. 
This is the group superintendent signing off.